Are you listening to this episode on Himalaya? If you are, congratulations, because you're already using the best new podcast app out there. If you're not, well, you're a loser and missing out, so get it together. Uh, Whether you're a podcaster or a fan, Himalaya is designed with you in mind and has a ton of cool new features like curated shareable playlists and collections made just for you, along with personalized recommendations to help with content discovery. And the best part is, it's super easy to use. It's definitely my favorite listening app, and I'm sure it will be yours too. So do yourself a favor and download Himalaya today, and be sure to follow my show, Worst Firsts, once you're there. Bye. Okay, everybody. We are here live in the studio for a new episode of Worst First. Thanks for listening. I love you guys. You're so loyal to me. It was a great turnout at Comic-Con the other week. And this week we have a very special treat with a veteran comedian who's Mm. been in the scene Mm. for years, Mm. an actor, Mm. and he has a his own show called Random Rants. Mm -hmm. Our guest, Polly Shore. What's up? up? What's up? Polly Shore. Thank you for having me. I'm glad Tommy wasn't here when I came in. Why? Because we have a beef, dude. Why? Because he took you from me. (laughs) He knows he took you from. That's why I didn't want to fucking come here, little pussy bitch. For real. We had our thing, and then all of a sudden I look on Twitter, and you're fucking with them, and then you're married too? (laughs) It's that Motley Crue documentary you saw on Netflix. That's what got you, huh? Because he's the cutest character in that whole thing. (laughs) He is the cutest character. He was. He was, dude, that was awesome. Did you love it? I love that. I love the, um, I love the, his, the, the, the mannerisms. Of, uh, the, of that's how Tommy's he acts character in real life. fucking dope, dude. Yeah. That guy's a great actor. Machine Gun Kelly, he killed it. Whoever it was, I don't know who, who is it, Machine Gun what? Machine Gun Kelly. <sighs> okay. <laughs> so is he like, is he like an NRA guy or something? Whoa, whoa, bro. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come back. He's a rapper. Whatever. Anyways, <laughs> so uh, he's an NRA. He works with Donald Trump. He's mach- he's a machine gun, bro. Machine gun, bro. <laughs> machine gun Kelly. Yeah. So uh, he's like so a- I thought he did a really good job, and I really liked I really liked what how they kind of put that whole thing. I thought yeah, the guy that played it. Vince was. It great. was great, right? Fuck yeah. Do you know the other guys in the band <coughs> personally? Any of them? All of the Motley Crue guys. Well, yeah, of course. You're friends with all of them. Yeah, you guys not used to so party much back Mi- in the day, right? Not so much Mick. Mick. Mick's older. Yeah, Mick. Yeah. So much. It was mostly Vince and Tommy were my friends. Yeah, I have like what a did, long history with both of them. What did you guys used to do back in the day? Oh man, well we used to have sex with the same girls. Whoa, bro. Oh god. Oh, shit. Oh my god. No, I'm just kidding. We did it. Dead. <laughs> No, I just, you know, from, you know, I started on MTV back in the early 90s, so that's when they, they were on MTV a lot. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I had my own show, Totally Polly, for years on MTV. That's this character right here. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. With funny. your long hair, you got the shirt on. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, so, so yeah, so i known those guys from that. You know, the Dr. Feel Good, that, you know, I met them, I think, through Sam Kennison. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, so Tommy's one of my dear dear old friends. I love that. <coughs> yeah. Well, thanks for coming here today. And I know you know that it's about Worst First. It's yeah, about which the... is, my Worst First was with Michaela on the set of my movie. <laughs> that was like, we should fucking start this thing. What's up with that Michaela chick? Michaela is my best no, friend. You guys know anymore. that. Why? Because she hasn't put out with me. What? What? She, she, wait, well, wait, wait, no, wait. I'm just kidding. What? You guys were in a movie together called The Guest House, yeah, the which guest is coming house. out, right? It'll be out. It'll be out next uh, next year. And what happened? The producers were mad at her. Why? Because she posted something from the set that that we had this movie, and they're like, "You're supposed to do it the normal way, which is like through a press release, right? Not tweet it out." And yeah. she did a whole thing on it, and then. We tried to we tried to promote it and then uh or you know like on a on a IMDb or, or I don't know how they I'm you know I'm not involved with that oh, 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 but basically oh, yeah. they said they officially already, yeah they said that the load was already dropped by it, Michaela where is she <laughs> it's already been officially dropped via Michaela Hoover's Instagram yeah. I didn't do it I didn't know what you're talking about I didn't know you should they should have told me oh my god she's hilarious is that really what happened they they mm-hmm. couldn't do like an official uh, announcement for it because yeah of that? we're mad at her oh <clears throat> but she dodges me it's cool she's the best no i know i'm kidding isn't she so no, cute she's, she's cool. my best she's friend adorable. she's literally like the tiniest person in the world she's little she's little she's like yeah. four foot one <laughs> yeah she's, she's little but uh, but you know other things are okay anyways <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so tell me about your worst first. The worst thing that's ever happened to you. It can either be like a worst date, a worst Man. job, a worst drug trip. It can be anything. Man. Uh, well, I know you've had uh, okay, like a well, lot you of said the last thing was the drug <laughs> trip. So I'd have to say, <laughs> I'd have to say um, when I was, shit, I was probably, what was I? I was, man, I was. I was probably around 21, 22, 23, around that age, and I was co-starring a movie with George Burns. Uh -huh. George Burns, the older comedian mm -hmm. guy. Um, he was like the oldest comedian in the world. And we were doing a movie called uh, 18 Again, uh -huh. where they switch bodies and stuff. Oh wow, that's like Freaky Friday. Right. But you guys did it first? I don't know who did it first, but it was okay. like a switching of a body. When right. they were, remember they did that years ago, right? Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> and we were at the um, we were at the um, rap party, and we're there. And some of the grips came up to me and were like, "Yo, you want to do some shrooms?" And I'm like, "Fuck, let's do some shrooms." Have let's you do ever it. done shrooms Never before? Never done shrooms. How old were you? Eighteen. I was probably like nineteen, twenty, twenty-one around there. <clears throat> and I was with Melissa Paul, who was this girl that I was in love with, you know, um, in high school. Uh huh. So I was so proud to be able to take her to. You know, to the party, I was like, yeah. "Oh, this is a girl I've been in love with. Yeah. I'm taking her to my. I'm, you know, I'm like bragging about exactly. her. You're like, oh, like, this is my girlfriend. No, She's but like I a was, great, yeah, I was yeah. trying to, I was impress like, her, impress yeah. her. You know, because yeah. I was like in my movie, it was like one of my first movies. And so I took shrooms at the at the George Burns uh, at the George Burns uh, rap party, and I started to freak out. I started to sweat oh, no. a lot. Oh, no. Yeah, a lot of sweating going on profusely, and I'm like, shit, I got to get out of here. <laughs> So basically, I was in my my mom got me this uh, white Corvette, uh -huh. those old school like porno Corvettes, you know what wow. I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I dr I don't know how I got fucking home. I don't know how I got you know home. Yeah. But I dropped her off. It was embarrassing. What did I you wanted say? To... Could she tell you were sweating and shit? Yeah, I just said I didn't feel good. Okay. But I didn't want to tell her I dropped mushrooms. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. I, I mean? would have done that instead of making her think. No, because you know, then like... she probably would have you know left or not let me drive or any of that oh, shit. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So so then I dropped her off and I'm like sweating, I'm freaking out and then I go home. Mm -hmm. And then I go upstairs in my bedroom and um, I'm freaking out and I take a bath. And this is when I live with my mom. And I take a bath and I started crying the whole time in the bathtub. Because it was I, so bad? Yeah, I was just starting, no, when you, when you do certain types of drugs, I assume you just start to like Open realize different gateways. That, yeah, you start to realize <laughs> things and shit like that anyways. So then what happened was I was crying, I was having a really bad experience, it was a bad trip. So then I go downstairs and my mom is there and she's rowing in front of the TV. Oh, like a rowing machine? Yeah, like one of those exercise machines. Oh my you know, God. Like, oh yeah, look at this, I'm rowing. It's my exercise, <gasps> sit down, Polly, what's going on? <laughs> oh my God. You know what I mean? So yes. I come in and I start saying, Mom, you don't know what this is about. like. The whole reason why we're on this earth together is you're the queen of comedy. I'm the prince of comedy, and and this is supposed to be together. And and you know, I started to make sense uh -huh. from my trip. You had like an epiphany. Yeah, epiphany yeah. just about why I'm on this earth. And this is the beginning part of my career. And she was the queen of the comedy store. And and I felt like there was some type of energy, and I wanted to share it with her. Uh -huh. And she started to, it, she started to <clears throat> really believe what I was saying. So she started crying too. Because I got her invested in what yeah. the hell I was saying. Yeah, <laughs> you really just fucked up. She's like, wow, my son's so spiritual and yeah, emotional. Exactly. He was tripping on drugs. I yeah, love it. So, so that, you know, so that was a really fucked up, a fucked up experience because, uh, you know, it was a bad trip and it took me a while to come off it. How long, how long did it take? I've never done trips. Hours. Hours, right? Yeah, it's yeah. like you can't get over it. Yeah. You're just fucked up forever and it sucks. That's what I heard. That's why I'll never do them. Well, you, the problem with shrooms is like you don't know the right amount to take. Right. How much did you take that night? I don't know. A couple stems. Uh huh. And it but was I don't too know many. A couple yeah, yeah. stems, too many. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I was fucking like shit. So. Oh, no. You know. That's terrible. Yeah, it was It was bad. And then, and then the next time I did shrooms was probably about four months ago. So I did them about recently. Four, yeah, I did. I thought about, you were sober. No, I'm not sober. Oh, that's Tommy. <laughs> is he Tommy's sober? Tommy's not sober. Oh, okay, that's good. He will be he's soon. Not, but no, he's he not doesn't. Right he now. shouldn't be sober. Why? Because he's fucking celebrating the last part of his life. Aww. Not that. Not like he's gonna <laughs> he die. You make him soon. seem like he's like seventy. Not like he's gonna <laughs> die soon. But you know, you know, anyone in their fifties is kind of like on the back end. So he's like on the back end. <laughs> you know what I mean? So now it's like, well, he doesn't want to go crazy again. 
if he so, does, he'd just do it at his house and keep it low key, low key. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you're not sober. You drink and smoke and everything. Yeah. Everything. Not everything, but yeah, I smoke. <laughs> I, I mean, the, the whole the whole legalization of weed. cannabis and weed and all that shit now is so crazy. You love weed? Mm, mostly gummies. Oh, okay. Yeah, you like weed edibles? Is kinda, you yeah. like edibles? Yeah. They're so strong. No, not if you take the, the right amount. Really? What's yeah. the right amount? Like a I don't gear know. of a gummy bear? <laughs> No, I don't have the. Uh, the I had consum- a half a Jolly Rancher one time, and I thought I was gonna lose my shit. You have, but the thing is, if you buy it now and you go and the on the packets, it says it, the the milligrams. It says exactly what it is. Yeah. So you know that that's what it is. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So how was it when you did shrooms like a couple weeks ago? It didn't really affect me that much, but I didn't want to take more for it to affect me. Right, right. I was just like, you know what, I'm good. I don't need to, you know what I mean? Push it. Yeah. You were like mellow mm. on shrooms. Yeah. So that's a terrible story. Yeah, I was, uh, it was, you know, it was a bad trip. That's the worst. Yeah. I mean, there's so many bad stories. Tell me more. Ask me what subject. Okay, give me a bad dating story. When you're on a <sighs> date with someone, it was fucking Man. terrible. Oh my God. Because um, I know you've gone on bad dates with people. Mm, Where you were just shit. like, this girl's the worst. Oh, okay. Um, Are you in a relationship right now? Well, let's talk about one thing at a time. <laughs> I can't. I got. I, I got to think about the really bad that situation. Really bad date. Um, I'd have to say like any crazy shit happened where you yeah. like where the girl like shit her pants or where like you know anything. That's not a bad date. That's a good date. If she shits her pants? Yeah. Well, how is that a good date? Because that means she wants in the a-hole and you got to get ready to party, dude. What, well, unless she- <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Let me see your glasses. Unless Those she, cool. uh, thanks. Unless she, unless she Does uh, Tommy have a really diarrhea. big penis still? Yes. Still? Yes. You'd think it'd get older, it'd shrivel up a little no. more. No. I mean, I feel like when dicks aren't hard, they're like very unimpressive. They are unimpressive. But then as soon as a dick is hard, that's how you know. Like, right. oh shit, you yeah, know? Yeah. Like when I first started dating him, you know, it, we you looked at it and it was like, eh, why are people saying it's so big? And you see it and it's really like, whatever. no, no, no. We slept together like the first night, so I saw it big. Oh no! So I was like, damn. And then, like, you know, you start hanging out. And then did you your hang eyes out. water when he went all the way to the end? <laughs> when he was all the way deep in, my your dad, eyes like went. My behind, dad's all listening to this. Your, di- your eyes went behind your head and you started tearing up and shit. <laughs> it just came up through my throat, yeah, out yeah, my yeah. mouth. Yeah, ah! yeah, that's true. Um, no, actually, does he miss me? Yeah, he said hi. He said yeah, to say hi. Those look good that. on you. Yeah, but besides that. Yeah, why? How good are friends are you guys for Pretty him good to friends. miss you? Good friends? Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, then he misses you. Yeah, he was he in my movie, Polly Shore's Dead. He was? Oh, yeah. What did he do in it? He played himself. He was in prison with Heidi Fleiss and Todd Bridges. It was <sighs> great. It's the greatest scene ever in cinema. I don't think I've seen that movie. Oh, God. I'll I have to watch it. It's really good. He's fucking really good in Is it. He, he's a good actor. He's a really he's good actor. He's been in a bunch of shit. Yeah. He's done, like, people don't believe he's been in a couple no, movies. He's, and... Yeah, he's legit. Whatever happened to his band? Is he still doing that? Motley Crue or Methods no, of Mayhem? Methods of Mayhem. Not really, but he's yeah. releasing solo stuff His soon. stuff is so dope. Like, when yeah. he was doing, he was working with a producer that lived off of, uh, Nichols Canyon for a long time. Uh huh. The guy Scott something. Oh, he had yeah. the big cement house. Uh huh. Uh huh. And he used to he used to always Scott give, Humphrey. Yeah. Yeah. And and Tommy used to always give me his CDs for this band Methods of Mayhem, and I thought it was really good. It's good. Yeah. yeah it's his really good. new stuff that he's releasing on his own, <coughs> he's not releasing under Methods, is really good too. It's like cool. that. It's Does he have cool. a studio at the house? Yes. So I should yeah. come by and do some karaoke with you guys. <laughs> Whoa, dude! And then we could I mean, share with re- Michaela. <laughs> We, can we don't have a really do pants. karaoke. I know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, we could set a machine up for you. You can no, do it by yourself. No, that's cool. <laughs> just record your own album. Okay, we're going to take a quick break, and then Copy. we're going to come back, and we're going to do your worst date that you've ever been on. Okay. So you have a minute to think about it. I got Literally it. Literally one minute. Cool. Okay, we'll be right back. Hey guys, we are back. Hopefully those ads weren't too unbearable. And we are back with Pauly Shore, who's going to share with me his worst first date. Well, I think it was Houston, Texas. Mm -hmm. And I was at like the men's club or something or one of the strip clubs out there. And Uh I met this girl. I I forgot her name because it was a while ago. And we hit it off. She's She's a a stripper? She's a dancer. Yeah, Uh a stripper. And we hit it off and we switched numbers and we were talking and i said to her would you like to come to los angeles 
Do you know what I mean? To hang out for the weekend. So mm -hmm. I organized a trip, you know, for her to come out. And it was really cool. And she comes out. I bring her to the house. You flew her out? Yeah, I flew oh, her nice. out. nice. Yeah, yeah. That's what the Motley guys used to do, too. Anyways, <laughs> you know Vince Neil, you was th what he used to do? Hmm. Vince Neil would have a chick. Yeah. And then he'd be finished with her and then drop her at the airport and then pull to the next terminal and pick up another chick. Oh my God, I know. He's has some some crazy stories. That's how like he he'd be married roll. and like his the girl he'd be fucking would be coming down the elevator and his wife would be coming yeah, up and that's it'd be how perfectly he used to timed roll. with his like security. I like that. That's good stuff. So shady. I know. Well that's how he used to roll back then. I know. But, but not, he's cool not good times. He's with Rain now. Yeah. And he's they're like good. very good. Yeah, together. no, no. Yeah. But he was, you know He's mellow now. <laughs> Are you he mellow was, now or no? I we'll talk about that later. <laughs> So listen, so 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 that's a no. So basically So you pick this girl up, she comes to your house, she flew I fly her out her in here from Houston, stripper. Yeah. Hot, cool, hot, cool, da 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 da, da the whole thing. She gets in, we go yeah. have a nice dinner, mm -hmm. the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And then I get her back to the place and I'm like, let's you know, let's do this. And she fucking recoiled. And she's like, What do you think this is? And I'm like, Well, I thought like maybe da 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 and she's like, No, you know, just because I'm a dancer doesn't mean I'm a slut. And I'm like, I didn't think you were a slut. I think you're a cool chick. Like yeah. the dancer thing isn't really, that doesn't exist. That's just like what you do on the side. Like yeah. we just had a nice dinner. Yeah. Like I flew you out here. Like you yeah. wanted, she wouldn't even kiss me. Maybe she was just wanted to be your friend. Well then she shouldn't have came out. Yeah, exactly. Any chick yeah, that gets yeah, flown yeah. somewhere. True, true, yeah. You, you kind of have know. to think. Yeah. You would know. Like yeah. you're going away with a guy on a vacation or he flies you around. Like That's what's happening. You know? It's going down. Unless you specifically like Say ahead of time. have it hardcore. Listen, FII, we're not hooking up. We're going to be da. best friends. Yeah, or whatever. <laughs> then it's like. So there's been a couple of those. I had I had that happen on a vacation with me once years ago. You brought a girl on vacation? On vacation, like all the way to Hawaii. And she's from like Atlanta or some shit. Wow. So that's a long fucking. And she was like, I'm not, I'm not trying to fuck you. No, it. it was just, no, she, she had sex with, you know, she had sex with me, but it was just, the whole thing was bad. You know, everything was bad. The conversation was bad, bad energy. She's boring. Boring. It was just like, we weren't having a good time. So yeah. I had to fly her back. Like literally, like during the, the next vacation. Day. Yeah, during the vacation. The next day. Pretty much. So she yeah. got one day of vacation. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't put that hibiscus flower in your hair too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that shit back. Yeah, but get it on was the plane. Like... Wow, that sucks. Yeah. Have you ever been in love, love, where you were like, "I'm going to marry this person"? Yeah, of course. With... But then they wind up cheating on me. Oh. All the girls cheat. They cheated on Absolutely. you? Absolutely. With who? They all cheat on me. Wait, so you were in a relationship. Every girl that I've ever gone out with is cheats on me. Because they think I'm cheating on them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did they live with you? Mm, no. You've never had a girlfriend live with you? Mm, I've had girlfriends stay with me. What about live? Um, like they get their mail there and shit? No. Never? Never, uh, uh Why? I don't know. Commitment issues? No. You didn't never liked anybody enough to move them in. I don't know. I guess I guess I just, you know, part of me really likes to be alone, you know? Like I like my space. Why do you like being alone? Um let's get to the root of the issue here. <laughs> you really love it though. I don't know. I just kinda I like my space. You don't want to get married. I didn't say that. Do you I wanna mean, have kids one day? Yeah, I'd like to have kids. You know what I'm really Do you have like, any kids? No, I don't have None. any kids, no. How old no. are you? Uh, 51. 51. It's getting a little. I know. It's getting crusty. Ticking. I can I, hear it. <laughs> I know. I, the fuck you talking about, bro? I know. No, I get it. Can you freeze your calm? Can you do that? I don't think so. The, I think women, the girl free, can freeze, freeze their, their eggs. eggs. Yeah. I don't think guys can freeze their calm. Really? The sperm's off. Yeah. <laughs> you can put he's it like, in one of those. He's like speeding to go. You ever, you ever see those? Uh, maybe I can, here's what I could do. You know how like the ice cubes? That you have at your house in the freezer, you know, you pour it in the water. Yeah. And then you, you're just you put, gonna ejaculate in it and put it in I the can, freezer. Yeah. And then have one girl stick up her twat when you like her. Yeah. And let it defrost inside her pussy. Well, I didn't say pregnant. it, you guys. She said it. That's a. I wonder if that would work. Probably not. I think they die. Don't sperm die as soon as they hit air. I don't know. That's what I heard. What I would really like to to do is organize a a, a power lesbian couple. Like here, no, don't look at me like that. Like, for <laughs> real, don't. No, this is my thought. Because I don't know when I'm going to fall in love. I don't know when that's going to happen. I don't have time. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Yeah. But I do want to have a kid. Are you healthy? Yeah, I'm healthy. No diseases? No diseases. Good. Yeah, you yeah. heard it here on the first on the podcast, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Clean as a whistle. No, I got everything tested Good. all the time. My blood, my Good. brain, Just my AIDS. chest. <laughs> 
Yeah, I just have AIDS. I just have the heebie-jeebies. Yeah, she's laughing. She's laughing at the word AIDS. That's fucked up, you guys. That's not cool, dude. That's not cool, dude. I'm not laughing at AIDS. I'm laughing at you. I mm. love it. Okay, so then, so what do you want to do? You want to organize a lesbian power couple? And this do is what? a thought. Like okay. organize a lesbian couple okay. that, that obviously they don't want to have sex with me. Right. Right. And but maybe they want to have a kid. Right. So we take maybe a lesbian couples. You know, eggs. Eggs. My sperm. Yes. We give it to some surrogate like in Missouri. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Well, what about some... one of the lesbians? No, they don't want to carry a kid. Oh, so you know, you give do. it to a okay. surrogate, yeah. and then the surrogate pops it out, and then mm-hmm. we have a piece of paper. Me and the lesbian sign the piece of paper. They get the baby sometimes. I get the baby sometimes, but it's just like so. It's like stri- shared custody. Shared custody. So that's kind of like my thought, but I don't know where to go to look for that. I feel like someone listening to this podcast will hit you up about really? it. Really? But I know surrogates I are really like, expensive. Yeah. It's, it's like no, sixty thousand dollars. No, no, the whole process is hundred and twenty thousand. That's what I heard. Like for, wow. Because basically you have to have special doctors. Yes. And it's like a one year kind of thing. Yes. So you gotta and also what you do is in order to find the right female, what you do is you get a, a you go in and you get a pamphlet. It's mm. almost like going to Denny's. <laughs> and they have no for real. They have they have a, a, a booklet of all a the menu. women. Yeah. A women. Like, yeah. oh, this is Olga, this is Stacy, this is da da da. And they have basically the eggs already there in a in a trinket somewhere. A oh, trinket somewhere. Oh my god. And if like I go in, I'm like, fuck, she's hot. You know what I mean? Yeah. I wanna have her egg. Oh. Then, yeah. Oh, so you can pick someone to have their egg. Yeah. And it, they and you have the baby with them. Oh, I thought you no, meant no, no, pick, no. You inserting pick, them. No, you pick the girl. You go, that girl's hot, number sixty four on the fucking list. <laughs> with fries. She's, she's hot with fries. And then what you do is they give you that egg, mm-hmm. and then you get your sperm, mm-hmm. and you mix it up like in a like a shake like the movie cocktail. You know, you <laughs> shake it up like that, and then you get some chick from like. You know that 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 needs the money. You know, like a surrogate. Yeah, you know, yeah. and they're in a pamphlet too. They're in the pamphlet. <laughs> the pamphlet's too. not as nice though. It's a little bit more. It's a little <laughs> dustier. Yeah, and then uh, and then you get her and you give it to her and then you all kind of are always talking and making sure the baby's okay. Yeah, make sure the, the surrogate's not doing math. Like you know, I would like that because a lot of people, if you think about it, a lot of people, you know. Th- they don't want a dwarf kid. Well, if you're gonna spend a hundred and twenty grand, why don't you just find someone you like and get her pregnant? Because there's a lot of stuff tied to that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I get it. Yeah, it gets all tied up. It gets you don't messy. Know. Well, you don't know the person. You can't yeah. just like a person and but that's a good idea too. But if you have a long history of that person. Yeah. But you know you know people's ulterior motives. You don't know. What's your longest relationship you've ever What been time in? is it? <laughs> No, I've had I've had one relationship for uh, seven years. I had another one. That's recently. a long time. Yeah, yeah. Well, seven how the years. fuck did you not get that chick pregnant? I'm good at pulling out. I don't know. I know, but didn't you want to have a baby? No. What about kids? Do you want? Because you know they're really annoying. They are. Right? I don't want kids. Fuck that shit. I love sleeping. <laughs> mm. Way too selfish. I can barely get up to let my dogs out. Yeah. But I do. You do. But I'm tired. Yeah. You know, but I can't yeah. imagine if I had to breastfeed the dog. I'm selfish. Well, you breastfeed Tommy. He's like a dog, <laughs> kind of. Tommy is like my baby. He is. Like, you know, yeah. you get someone who's young at heart, and well, that's like a baby. Well, I think that, you know, being 51 and, and knowing that I have 30 years left on this earth, mm-hmm. pretty much, if, if I'm lucky, yeah, if I'm lucky, I want to be able to look back on my life and say, hey, at least I did different things. Mm-hmm. And like, hey, I had a kid at this time. I did this at this time. I took you know. shrooms when I was 18 and sweat in a Corvette. <laughs> yeah. So uh, So you just want a kid to say, like, I did it. I had a kid. Like, no. what about children appeals to you? I like kids. Why? Because they're adorable. You know, for me, you just asked me, don't go like that. You're asking <laughs> me the fucking question. This isn't your fucking interview. You're interviewing me, remember? Right? What do you think is adorable about them? Their faces, their mannerisms? <sighs> um. Yeah, their innocence. And That's true. I That's think cute. the fact having, like, part of you and a kid I yeah. think would be really sick. My friend Sandy Danto is a comedian, he's a young guy, he just had a kid. He did? Sandy had a kid? Yeah. Holy shit. Is He got married, is it with that yeah. lady? Yeah. They had a kid? Yeah. Oh my God, wow. Yeah, so I haven't been to the comedy store daughter, in a while. Beautiful daughter and, and he lo- he's so excited and he's like, you know what I mean? So. Wow. I don't know. I think, I think in my life there's been a lot of sadness. Yes. You know, I've been yeah. going through a lot of stuff and I'm still going through it. You know, mm-hmm. a lot of death in my family and 
all the stuff in the last year or two and you know to start a new life would be fresh you know mm -hmm. get through the past move forward into the future and maybe having you know a kid would be really really fun but i also don't want to change my lifestyle i love touring you know i still love touring i love how often are you on the road <clears throat> i go out a lot a lot i mean i'm going to uh, iowa this weekend and uh -huh. then i come back and then i'm going out for a month on another tour so it's like you know i enjoy america i enjoy people I enjoy traveling, you know, stuff like that. Just bring you, the baby on tour. <laughs> mm, I don't that's a know. Lot. Yeah, that's a lot. It's a lot. But if I have the power lesbian it, couple back at home. They can watch the baby while you're on tour, and when you come back. And they can go to their lesbian biker bars when I could take care of it then. <laughs> what do you think? Okay, so any lesbian couples that are listening to this, if you want. But all seriousness. Uh, like but a you lesbian have to power have cash. couple. Yeah, you have to have your shit together. You have to have you can't cash. Be you have to have a, a job. You yeah. can't be, you know, sponging off of this shit. Yeah, you have to be have your shit together. And we're splitting everything. Everything fifty. Yeah. 50. So if it's so if it's five grand a month, twenty five hundred me, twenty five hundred her, uh -huh. whatever. Ten thousand five five. Uh huh. That's it. Do you have nieces and nephews? Yes. You do. Yeah. So your brothers and so you have sisters. No. Just brothers. Two brothers. They yeah. had kids. My one brother had a kid, yeah. Oh, so there you go. You mm -hmm. got nieces and nephews, mm -hmm. at least, at the end of the day. I guess. Okay, so um, tell me tell me some more stories. Tell me some more shit that's gone crazy well, in your to, life. Don't you have to cut to a commercial, and then we do the next No, we line. already did. Oh, we already okay. had a commercial. It was only one commercial break. You oh, only wow. get one commercial break. Okay. Um, did you ever have a really bad time when you were performing? Did you ever have some really fucked up shit happen? Like ever? a heckler? Yeah. Like that, a heckler. Like a really fucked up one. Um, or even like you forgetting shit or just anything, really, but where you fucking ate shit. Um, uh, when I was younger, I had a, a bad experience. But you stage. don't anymore because you're so used really. to it. Yeah, like yeah. a bad experience to me is just an experience. Right, right. It's not like, oh, that was terrible. Right, you know I, I mean? bombed, yeah. Yeah, or people get, some people get really fucked up and they stand up and they fall. You know what I mean? But then you make that about five, 10 minutes of your act. You kind of just play into it. Yeah. Um, people get fucked up like drinking? Yeah. And then they go up on stage and they no, fall? No, they stand up and they start heckling you. But they're alcoholics. You know what alcoholic is? is of course. Someone they don't know that they're an alcoholic. Right, of course. So the next morning they wake up, they're like, what did I do? You know what yeah, I mean? One I of those type of people. Yeah. Like, like, everything... like my husband when he married me. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just kidding. So wait, so I <laughs> Okay. You'll I'm be kidding. on my podcast and I'll interview about what's it like being married to Tommy Lee. It's awesome. Okay. Um so wait, so we'll, fi we'll figure that out. <laughs> so Why isn't he here? I thought he was gonna be here. Because he's sick right now. Oh. He's taking a Z pack. He's like really sick. Oh, he's sick. got a sore thing? No, he's got like uh we head had cold. like we had like a, a you know, a head cold and stuff, but he smokes and he drinks, so he, he didn't heal as quickly as I did. Mm. And because I don't drink or smoke or anything. Hmm. Totally straight edge. Straight edge. How's sober. his sister doing? Athena? Yeah. She's good, I guess. I don't know. I don't really talk to her. <laughs> That's hilarious. Does he talk to her? Um, I don't think they've spoken in sensitive, a minute. Sensitive, isn't it? Yeah. Sibling stuff is sensitive. Yeah, yeah I don't yeah. think they've spoken in a minute. I yeah. wish they would. I don't yeah. I don't think they have. It's, it's weird. interesting, yeah. Yeah, it's That's sad. That's how it is, yeah. Things can get weird with family. Sometimes, Very weird, you know. That should be your next podcast after you finish this one. It's weird just, family things. Yeah, dude. Are you close with your brothers and no, sisters? Uh -uh. Not at all. Uh -uh. I'm close with my brother. He's a little crazy, but I love him. That's my cool. mom and I have a very strained relationship. My mm. dad and I are very close. My dad raised me. Mm. He's the best. Mm. So there's that. But yeah, family relationships can get fucking holidays. crazy. Oh uh, yeah. What do you do for the holidays? Run just away. Yeah, run away. No. <laughs> um, I don't know. I've got invited to different places for Thanksgiving. You know, when my parents mm -hmm. were alive and we were all getting along, we would always do it together. And mm -hmm. now that they're deceased, and, and I don't talk to my siblings, I just kind of figure it out. Why, why don't you talk to them if you don't? You don't want to say, yeah, you know, it's, just drama. It's like we'd go on here forever, and it's exhausting. Yeah, I get it. It's like who cares? Are you the youngest? Yeah. You're the baby. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. That's cute. <clears throat> So. so what's going on in your life right now? Like what are like what do you what are you into? What's going on? Like what do you do? What's a daily life for you? You wake up. My main thing is to look into the future. Okay. So you're like a what? psychic? <laughs> Psycho. Well. No, my main thing every day is to look into the future. You okay. know what I mean? Because of my past, you know, mm -hmm. and everyone's past is kind of fucked up, you know. Uh, yeah. So you want to look into the future. So 
you know, I live in Silver Lake. Okay. You know, I live in a, a fourplex, which Do you is love cool. It? Yeah, it's really cool. I love Silver Lake. Uh huh. Um, people there are really happy. Yeah, they are. And everyone is silly. Yeah, people they're look so weirder si- than me. Totally. Like I'm like normal looking. In they Silver wear Lake. like plaid shirts with like just denim like legs. This <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This that. I'm like fuck. I look normal here. Yeah. And that made me feel real. Makes me feel really good. And um, so I live there. I have a bike. Uh huh. So I ride around the reservoir. Which oh, is beautiful. Oh, that's there. fun. And I like it out there because um, that area, like Los Feliz and Silver Lake and Echo Park, it's still very authentic uh-huh. to what LA is. Yes. You know, if you notice West Hollywood and you notice the it's Sunset changed. Strip, there's a feeling that you get when you're there, and yeah. it's not a good feeling. No. You it's know all what I mean? fake Tom, bullshit. Tommy can probably te- just. He hates testify. LA. He wants to move away. Yeah. He wants just to move to like fucking middle farm of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. Hawaii. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, I want to live in Hawaii away from everything. Yeah. He hates it here. Yeah. He hates. Yeah. That's we live how in Calabasas. I, I don't even live in LA. Far. Yeah. 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 But he hates it. He's like, I can smell it. Like, I can feel it. See, he's like me. You he's know, over we're very it. similar. You know, it's like, it'd be one thing if LA didn't change mm-hmm. and it was still authentic and da da da. da. Then it'd be cool, but there's just so much cement and buildings mm. and and corporate and all this like billboards. It's just like ugh. It's you a know? lot of bullshit. Yeah, so I like it out there, and then I do my podcast, Random Rants, once a week, which I'm on with this company here, uh, Studio Seventy One. Yes. So Brian, and people come over your house. Yeah, it's great. I love it. And you just rant about shit. Everything. Like uh, yesterday, I ranted, or this today's that's coming out. Uh, Nick, Nick, uh, what's his name? He got his tattoos on his face. Uh, oh, Nick Carter? Yeah. Oh, Aaron Carter? Aaron Carter, yeah. So I okay. rant about that. What did you rant about him? You have to watch the podcast. To okay, see so it. you have to watch the podcast to hear Polly's rant about Aaron Carter. Tattoo what do you think of him? Face. Do you think he's normal? Well, I just think that whole trend of tattoos on your face is a little a little much. Do you have any tattoos? No. None. No. Not one. Because you're Jewish. Mm. Or not really. You just don't like them. I don't know. I just never, never did it. Never wanted one. Uh-uh. I could see you having like a weird scorpion somewhere, or like a snake. <laughs> no. <laughs> Nothing? Uh uh-uh. uh. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're no. like very rare. Yeah. There's not many a of you. Medium rare. Yeah. <laughs> There's not many people left in the world that yeah. don't have a tattoo. Like almost everybody, even like girls will just have like a little tiny mm-hmm. heart somewhere, like a little freckle next to their butthole or something, you know, just something. Well, the thing is like normal tattoos like Tommy has or people that have it, blah, blah, blah. That's like one thing. That's a lot. But it, it, it's one thing. You can yeah. cover it up. You, no. Well, if you wear this and you wear that. He has them on his neck, okay, his well, face. He's, oh, he's got the tattoo on his face. He's See, got the, stars along his face. All right. Anyway, so that's not for me, but I respect if you if you do that, that's cool. Yeah. But it's just you know on your face. It's a lot. It's, it's a your little face. yeah. And Tommy's you know Tommy's a good looking guy. Yes. And, and uh, but so to do that, I don't know. Gave his mom a lot of anxiety. Oh, I'm sure. His mom was like, "What the Tom is? Why Tom? She called him Tom. Why? I never got to meet her, but that's what he says. When did she pass? When he was in his 40s. Oh, wow. I know. Must have been tough. She passed away young. Wow. She passed away from COPD. Wow. Which is from smoking. Wow. Yeah. Young. She was like 76 or something, like he said. Yeah, she was young. So don't smoke, guys, and don't (sighs) vape. Don't do any of that. You don't smoke cigarettes, right? I once in a while have a American spirit. Oh, like the healthy ones. <laughs> That's not healthy. It's but not I, healthy, but, but yeah. Like if the, I'm the, out in Silver yeah, Lake yeah, and yeah. I'm having a drink, like yeah. some type of like Moscow mule or some smoky tequila drink. Right. And someone's having like a, you know, an American spirit. I don't smoke a Marlboro or Parliament or any uh-huh. of that. I'll just maybe bomb and smoke a couple. and then, You know, it's like that. But also I have my podcast. I have these two movies coming out. I tour. Yes. I'm working on a one man show, which I put up last night at the Ice House. How'd it go? And it's great. Pasadena. Yeah, it's great. Pasadena I, I really, crowd loved it. Yeah, it was great. Nice. So I'm working on that. That's called Stick with the Dancing. Stick with the Dancing. Because that's what my mom said to me after she saw me do stand up. Because I ended with a dance number. And, and she I said, said Stick, stick with, with the Dancing. She thought you sucked. Yeah. That's so, crazy. Yeah. So, uh, so, yeah, so I'm working on the one man show and I've been doing that all around town and I'm gonna be taking that on the road and eventually, 
hopefully on Netflix or Showtime or someone will pick it up. And I could do like, you know, my own version of Mike Tyson. I don't know if you saw that. Oh, he was great. Yeah, Yeah. it was great. It was actually funny too because it's like he's not even a comedian, but it was funny. Yeah, it was. It's called Undisputed Truth, and it's with Mike Tyson. Yeah, and it's on uh, HBO, and it's such a great one man show. Yeah, he killed that. Yeah, that was very impressive. A lot of my energy is like towards that right now. So you want to do something like that? And then I'm going out on a tour called the Family Feud Tour, which is with uh, the TV show Family Feud. Oh, really? They're taking it on the road, and that's with uh, myself, Chris Kattan, and Tom Arnold, and Alonzo Bowden. So we're taking that on the road for um, for a month. Wow, so, so you're that'll busy. be interesting, yeah. That's good. Do you live by yourself? Mm-hmm. You do. Do you have any pets? Just my penis. <laughs> my penis is a pet. I got What's his name? Sweet Billy. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Ask Michaela. She's seen it. <gasps> Why are you going like that? Sweet Billy. Yeah, that's she's a weird seen... name. What does that mean? Sweet sauce comes out of him. Oh God! It's that... almost like plum sauce. Oh my God! Why did you do that? <laughs> You're just doing that because you're with Tommy. Sweet plum sauce comes out of your dick. I'm just I'm, <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm just kidding. Do you, so you don't have a girlfriend right now. Do you go on any dating apps? Mm, a while ago. What dating app? Um, I was on Raya for you a were. little. Yeah. Did you go on any dates off of that? You know that's how Tommy and I met, right? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. We like liked each other. Like, obviously, I knew him yeah, and yeah. his music, and he well, watched la- my videos, and he thought I was funny. And yeah. Then- well, you're funny. The last time I saw you was at WME, and we mm-hmm. did that. What did yeah, we do? We did funny a video. video. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, that was crazy. But uh, yeah. So you know. <sighs> no, you didn't like Raya. It was okay. Did you go on some dates? A couple, yeah. I they went out suck. with this one girl. It was crazy. She's like, uh, she's like a model, uh-huh. you know. And she showed up to my place, and she was like six four. She's tall as shit. Yeah, she's well, like she's a, a model. What'd yeah, you but not. But you're a model, and you're not six I four. I am not a model. You're kind of I'm a model. I'm like a waddle. <laughs> I'm not a model, but thank you. So she stood. She stood. She stood up really tall. And then we were walking <laughs> down like, the street. <gasps> when we were walking down the street, I had to like run. You know what I mean? Oh, to be next just to... as high as her? Well, yeah, it was like Jurassic Park. <laughs> She's like, wait for me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like her tail's hitting fucking Mini Coopers. Wait, you know I have a I mean? question. Debris, when, you, when you go on a date with a girl, like if you already know it's not working, mm. why don't you just end it? Why don't you just Cause say? Because you, you know what? At the end of the day, she's a human being. I'm a human being. Maybe we become friends. Okay, so, you, keep so you'll friends. stick it out. Yeah. Even if you're like. Yeah, who when, cares? When you meet them. Who cares? Because yeah. you can't be friends with people. I like pretend I'm sick. Like mm. if I had a date, like I, I was on apps. Mm. And when the date would show up, if they weren't like appealing to me or mm. if I didn't like it, mm. the situation, I would just immediately go, I'm really sick. We don't have to do that anymore. You're with Big Cock Tommy McGee. <laughs> How big? Obviously. So how big is it? Like oh this? Oh my god! Not he like that. This? Yeah. This? More or less. Yeah. Is it like a black guy's penis? It's definitely like a black guy's wow. penis. Yeah. But I'm just like I said, like it's crazy. Like you don't expect it because it's a grower. Well, what do you mean you don't expect? He's got a fucking reputation having no, a big penis. No, I know, penis. but I mean, like, if you just saw him soft, yeah, you'd be like, normal. oh, it's just a regular dick, right. and then all of a sudden. Yeah, it grows wow. and it just—it's it's like, like a chia it's pet. like one of those things you, you know, buy at the grocery store and you throw it in water and it's like poof, like yeah, this. Yeah, like a chia pet. It, what about his semen? Is it still pretty good? <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? What does that? You know what it means? Good. Some girls like oh, to like swallow. Milky? Yeah, yeah. You know, does it taste good? Look at you. Yeah, just it doesn't got, taste bad. Oh my god, you're like. Oh my god. Has anyone asked these your these questions on your show? <laughs> I'm crying. I'm allowed to get it away with it because I'm bad. Frozen. I didn't see you like it doesn't, doesn't taste it, bad. I just don't love the taste of cum. You don't like the I taste think of... all cum tastes a little bleachy. Yeah, okay. You well, know what I mean? Unless you give some someone girls have to some girls have to swallow cum. It's like why do they have to? Oh, they they love it. They love it. Really? Oh yeah. Michaela's one of them. Oh god. Boom, boom, boom. No, I don't. I didn't do that. No, look at my filter. Oh my god! Is she still with that guy? (laughs) What guy? I'm not gonna say. I'm trying to be respectful. A comedian? Yeah. No. 
Oh my god, I'm dying right now. She's gonna listen to this and kill I don't you. Care. She doesn't. She, she she doesn't never sees me. How's she gonna kill me? She have, <laughs> she have to come see me to kill me. You love her. She's adorable. I know. She's yeah, yeah, so yeah. pretty, and yeah. she's little. She's perfect for you because you're little. So she doesn't want to have my kid. I already asked. Her. Oh, you did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know she does want to have kids. Well, why doesn't she sign the piece of paper? Let's get it fucking moving. <laughs> Let's go. We'd have a you want to have Michaela our Hoover's kid, baby? Our kid would be three feet tall, though. It would literally be the shortest Which kid. Which would be good, because then it can squeal around. <laughs> squeal around where? Anywhere. It could just go wherever it needs to go. <gasps> short kids, though. That's a bummer. You don't want your kid. Because if it's a boy, then that's, you know, girls, short girls, it's like whatever. But like a, a boy but who's... It can wind up being like a little Jimmy Iovine or something, little... Little ri- rebel little, rouser, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> little showstopper, exactly. little showrunner, yeah, yeah, it could be like little a little Irv- man. Irving Azoff. I love that. You never know. Yeah, Sometimes well, you have the Napoleon complex. Yeah, because they have to make up for being short. Yeah, then they work extra hard. I so get who it. is she seeing now? She's seeing a couple people. Of course she is. She's yeah. a little juggler. <laughs> but are they putting it inside of her? I don't know. I mean, I do, but I'm not gonna say. <laughs> Jesus, Mikhail, you didn't say you have penises inside your vagina. You said you're a little innocent babe. She is pretty innocent. I mean, you have to imagine though, because she has hands, like her hands are so little. So every guy like loves her mm. because like, you know, any what? size wiener will look huge in those little tiny little, baby hands. The little paws. <laughs> look like the if biggest. If she has a black penis, she has to hold it like this. Do you believe this is this is what our business has become? Yeah. These fucking podcasts. I know. I actually it's, it's so funny because like I crazy. hated podcasts. And then I was like, you know what? I was going I'd gone on a bunch of really bad dates before I met Tommy. Like my whole life was just bad dates. Mm-hmm. And so I started telling the story. And then that's how I got into doing it as a podcast. Cool. Yeah. So that's how it started. Do you like doing your podcast or not? I like it because that's where the business is, you know. Yeah. I mean you have to kind of accept it. So it's like that, you know, every comic has a Twitter, every comic has an Instagram, every comic has a podcast. True, you have to be very, so very like visible on social media. Yeah, yeah, so it's cool, you know what I mean? It's cool because, um, you know, you can create your own stuff. Yeah, so did cool. you ever shit yourself? Did I what? <laughs> did you ever shit yourself? Meaning what? Like, did you ever shit your pants? <sighs> I don't know, probably. What's the most embarrassing thing you did during sex? During sex? Yeah, did you ever fart? No. Never? No, come quick. Well, whatever. That's not embarrassing. No, every guy does that. Yeah. At least with me. But does I've had the girl's vaginas farts before. Oh, that's queefing. That's normal. Yeah, well yeah, but when you're having sex with them doggy and then you flip them to a different position. Like, <laughs> you know, like the 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 legs go around. That's like, like that. every night at my yeah. house. Oh really? He's like doing it like this and he's like, <laughs> and right, it's like, like, <laughs> like crazy. Yeah. So loud. Yeah. You don't like that? I don't like to talk about that type of stuff. Why? Because my mom, that was always my mom's taboo as a comic. She was like, don't talk about don't that Don't talk stuff. about shit or farting or any of that stuff. Like, like, not funny to her. And it really? always kind of stuck in my head, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. I mean, I guess yeah. not, really. But I do think it's very funny. Yeah, as a kid, though, she, that was always like, you know, as a kid, that was always like a direction. She branded that in your head. Don't talk about easy, funny. No, she, exactly. Okay. She talked about that with all the comics. Oh. Not just me. She's like, just, no shit jokes, no fart jokes. Yes. What about girls that want to talk about, like, sex or whatever? Sex, yeah, but don't fart. Not farting. Yeah. But, like, you know, sometimes you talk about, like, b- bad sexual experiences. That's all right. Oh. I'm just talking about farting and okay. shitting. Like that's like off off the record with my mom. Really? Yeah. So, so if a comic went up in, there and started telling, she'd get him out of the store. She'd be go to the improv, go to the laugh factories. No shit jokes around here. <gasps> and that's wow. why it's true. When I when I see comics at the store, yeah, do that. And I'm like, if Can my mom was here, you kick people out of the store? No, 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 no. You can't. No, I wouldn't do that. Is there anybody new that we should keep our eyes out for that's killing it right now in the game? Mm. Polly Shore. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I don't know. There's there's a lot of guys. I mean, there's, you know, the guys at the store are all good. You know, you got Dalia, you got fucking uh, Rogan's there, Bobby Lee's there, T- Tom Segura, Mark Maron. Tom Segura is so funny. Yeah, there's a lot of guys that are doing really well. I mean, Theo Vaughn's doing really well. Um, Everyone goes to the store. 
Mm-hmm. I haven't been there in years. Really? I heard the whole vibe is different. Like it's mm. like very positive. Mm. Like it's changed. It's gotten like really. It's you know it's it's cleaned up. Yeah. Put it that way. Like we came in and we cleaned it up. And you like got, that? Yeah, it's cool. Aww. It's um you know, people love the store. Comics love the store, and uh, the audience loves it. So. And you're a part owner of it. Mm-hmm. So how are you gonna tr- keep it around for as long as you possibly? I'm gonna make it Polly Shore's Titty Palace. <laughs> I was figuring, no. Um, yeah, well, I think that as long as the business is doing good. Because it can't as, ever go away. Yeah. It's such a staple yeah. of Hollywood. Like, it'll be so, I, it, it, it can never end. I agree. I think the store is bigger than all of us. It is bigger than everyone. Yeah. That's the one thing on Sunset in that yeah. area that you drive on Sunset and, and you like, see yeah, it yeah. and you're like, yeah, that's the comedy store. Well, it's, it's set up that way. You know, the way she set it up was a college. You know what I mean? So there's, so there's a community there. So it's like, it's not just the club with the stage. So many it's people started there. Yeah, it's a feeling that you get when, you, um, when you're there because no one's bigger than the store. Right. So even when Richard Pryor was around back in the day. Did you used to watch him when you were mm-hmm, younger? Yeah. Even when he was there, the store was bigger than him. Yeah. You know, so there's a mutual, I think, respect with the comics and... Um, in the public with that place. So. When did it first open? Uh, 72, 1972. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And you- I was four. Aw. Yeah. And you remember your parents taking you there and bringing you early and going, hey, like we're building this thing and mm-hmm. you know, you're gonna watch everything That's part happen. of what the one man show is about. Aw, Yeah, I that's what that. I talk about. Cause you watched all show. the co- big ones come uh-huh. up, Jim Carrey and- Yeah, like Red, just Red Fox. Yeah. You know, Red just Fox, everybody. I saw, um, who else did I see? Michael uh, Keaton used to Michael do stand Keaton, up, which is so crazy. Like Cheech and Chong, Cheech and George Chong. Carlin, wow. Rodney Dangerfield. And you watched all these people. Yeah. And you said, that's what I want to do. Mm-hmm. You love it. Yeah, I loved it. And because your parents are both funny. Yeah. Your mom and your dad were funny. Yeah. Oh, that's such yeah. a great, such a great thing that you got to grow up in that. You yeah, know, not right. a lot of people met all those people or got to see that growing up. And that was your life. Yeah. That's a crazy life. Yeah, it's cool. Do you have a book? No, I'm, all that stuff I'm putting together. You should now, definitely yeah. write a book. So yeah, that's part of what I, I'm going to do is because everyone wants to talk about, but I don't like to talk about I it. I know. I, I like. Yeah. I'm so curious. Yeah, but I like, want to do it. I want to do, do it in a book. Official. I want to do it in a documentary. I want to do it in my one man show. Mm-hmm. You know, and have everything answered in those. Yeah, because everyone wants so to then, know like what was young Jim Carrey like? What yeah. was this person like? What was this person like? Yeah. So you I'm going to answer all that like in the in the stuff that I'll be putting together because I think it's more better that way because it's more specific. Are you still friends with a lot of the people you watched come up? Like, are you still friends with like Jim Carrey and those people? Like if you see them, you're like, yeah, oh, hey. of course. Yeah. Yeah. That's I just so did the crazy. Byron Allen show. Um, uh, it's called uh, Funny You Should Ask. Uh-huh. He has a show and he always has comedians on. Mm-hmm. So everyone was there. John Lovitz. You have uh, Louis Anderson was mm-hmm. there. I love uh, Baskets. Do you watch Baskets? Yeah. So good. I know. He kills it. Yeah, yeah. As the mother, yeah, as yeah. Zach Galifianakis' mom yeah. in that. Yeah. So good. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so every time I see comedians, whether it's Arsenio or anyone, they always give me big hugs. And, and there's a, uh, you know. That's your community. Yeah, that's my That's community. your family. Yeah. You'll always have that. Yeah. That's so nice. Is there anything you want to um, plug before we wrap it up? Do you want to share? Just the plug that I want to put in my butthole so Tommy Lee doesn't shove his big cock in it. <laughs> what do you think about that plug? <laughs> okay, so make sure to follow Polly. You guys know Polly Shore. He's been around forever. You're like a staple of Hollywood. Mm-hmm. You're like a Hollywood staple. What do you think of this? It's a little gay, but it's cool. <laughs> gay in a fabulous way that I love it. I do this because That's I have very hi- Silver Lake. I have, hi- I have hickeys all over my Oh, neck. you do? Yeah. Let me see. No, dude. Let they, me see the hickeys. Bitches are ne- gnawing on my neck, dude, like salt, like a salt lick, bro. Let me see the hickeys. No, I'm just kidding. Right oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say it's actually very in and silver always, lake to tie yeah. a scarf around your neck. No, I just came. From You're me. like a mini superhero. It's like a tiny cape. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, make sure to follow Polly Shore on Instagram. Are you just Polly Shore? Follow me, following Michaela Hoover on Instagram, <laughs> and watch me stalk that little fucking bitch. She's lucky she's not here. She she said she's gonna be here. I'm like, bitch, you ain't coming to this interview. <laughs> I was actually gonna tell her, and then I was like, afraid it would get like scary. Like, yeah, we don't want her around us. This is better. Lo- le- this less is more. No, I us. love her. She's my best friend. I love her to pieces. But I was afraid, you know, 
you might fall. Attempt. You might fall even further in love, or not let her leave until she married you. I'm not. I'm not one of those guys. I'm one of those guys. Like, hey, I'll put it out there, but if I'm not feeling it, then respect. I'm gone. Yeah. You know what I mean? See ya. Yeah. I'm Deuces. Like, yeah. It's like, <laughs> peace out, bitch. <gasps> Why does it have to be bitch? You can't have none of this. <laughs> hey, check out Tommy Lee and Polly Shore is dead. The jail scene. With Heidi Fleiss and <gasps> Was Todd it the Bridges. real Holly, Heidi Fleiss? Yes. Oh, my God. Ask Tommy about it. I will. We'll have to watch it. I've it's never great. seen it. He's fucking amazing. In okay, it. so we're going to watch Polly Shore's Dead. We're going to follow you on Instagram, which is just Polly Shore. Mm -hmm. And what else? Your YouTube and channel? And then check out my YouTube channel. Uh, check out Random Rants. Every week I put on another rant. Is it YouTube.com, just Polly Shore? Yeah, just Polly Shore just Polly YouTube. Shore, everything. And then I also have a lot of my, my clips are on YouTube as well. YouTube has become my own channel just like for you it's I like this it. is the way it is that's and great. we want to put a shout out to brian for hooking us up brian, brian hey. we love brian in studio 71 guys thank you so much for listening thanks for being here every week i appreciate and love all of you i read all of your comments like i said and they mean so much to me and make sure to stay tuned oh, next shit, week it just says stay close to the microphone and don't bang on the table i've been doing that the whole time <laughs> did they fucking get dude did they get that's everything that's why there's blankets on the table Oh, because people come in here and they're like, "This is a sex thing." Like, I thought this was a like you put dildos out. Or no, something. usually my dog comes and she sleeps on it. Oh. It's really cute. I would have brought her, but I have another podcast to go to. So, <laughs> anyway, guys, stay tuned for next week's worst verse. And thank you so much for listening. Follow Polly Shore. Shout out Biodome. And Peace we're out. out. Yay! You did a great job. That was terrible.